Hello, people of you, welcome to the review. A day of your VR parents, the big fairy tale scare. This is the first episode of season 10. Um, man, you can tell that the writers are just on their knees, begging for viewers, and just crying when they're dealing with it. First of all, they, they actually changed a lot. The open song. It just makes no sense. Like when that poof came along, he just eventually told a bit of it. I mean, it only, that's only the same to same. When this had two singers, and just different words in general, same tune enough, but still, it was awful. You can barely remember. The words have to die. Ugh. Anyway, that's what it begins with uh, Timmy having to go to school for using, or he's gonna use uh, his uh, robot suit to just uh, pay ten for him while he watches the marathon of Catman. Now, where the hell did Timmy get this robot? Did he wish it up? Or did I doubt that he made him? Like, I think it would be smart, but like, get uh, the levels of the neutron or AJ, but. Ugh. Um, anyway, things will start going wrong when Cosmo puts uh, some twigs into Robot Kimmy's ear, making a big mess out in it, or out of her. Uh, that's actually the American middle school dance. Well, I don't know what up in there. And then Timmy out, Robert just goes a little bit crazy, and Parker just starts introducing the new girl in school and the show, uh, Chloe Carmichael. Supposedly, she's the nicest girl that ever is, and very smart, and stuff like that, and a lot of people like her. But she's just not so goody too, she's and according to Timmy, she just said she's perfect. Even a, a clip of her saving her town from a dead mutant monster tank. It turns out to be uh, half the clip and they throw the rest of it near the end, so I'll get to that when I get to that. And uh, Timmy just gets annoyed for that everybody loves Chloe. And when he gets home to his parents over as well, also turns out he's uh, Timmy's new next door neighbor. I don't know. And then when I think of that thing that they probably has something that he or she has something that Chloe doesn't have that they buried. Dragon shows up saying that he needs to serious fairies. Then there's a fairy fairy uh, got parents shortage. Oh, I wonder why there's a shortage. Maybe I'll do something with bad and fairy babies! But that makes no sense, since in the previous season or episode whatever, they show a, a fairy elementary school that is called Stelementary. And there's fairy babies there! And some other magical creatures as well! Ugh. And for some reason, Timmy was hard to say the word share. Even though he was able to say it in an episode where he needed to raise money by a GameCube, by uh, being a, a ball boy for the Dim Sale uh, basketball team. And he actually learned how, how to share in that episode. So he needs to learn that this as well. Yeah, the reason there's very storage is because that the lot of fairies are just like making and selling candles and there's like a decline of fairies or something. And the kid that Timmy is uh, carrying his fairies with is uh, Chloe. And don't you say why uh, Chloe needs it, needs uh, fairies. As I said, they actually explain it more than that, yeah, but whatever. Anyway, uh, they, they end up in a uh, Chloe's 
thousand thousand attack there. Jordan and actually flips him to a wall. Yeah, I don't know how they able to do that. You think it's the strongest person or strongest fairy in fairy worlds? I don't know. Um, then she goes a little like, crazy when she goes into a closet with Ezra playing for some reason. Um, then she just said, uh, make the wish. Uh, to be far away from her as possible. With said, uh, come along the ten things, said, uh, go to the center of the earth. Yeah, by Cosmo, think about not one there. He's the brains of the two of them. I don't know. And then Timmy puts a, uh, uh story with Day, he wants, uh, Cosmo on the, since he is sharing them, and, and she said she wants them on Friday, but how they go in a little bit. Crazy after she said she had, like, doing extra homework. Yeah, she's a little bit of an overachiever. Katie just wishes that Friday to be gone. It just leads, uh, the anti fairy to attack. Then Dale's and Corn to Wanda. The big one, the fairy will get that charge up and then release his magic by Friday. And which protects, uh, Jim Dale, so, that's it. Uh, Cooper is, uh, in this, and he's probably the best player of the episode, actually, when he did, uh, call his cards. And, and somehow he, he, he has, a cup of milk in his bowl. Dunno. And then Gordon just, uh, shows up and brings for a back and tells him he needs share fairies. So, I think he just switches for a fairy box to, uh, his, uh, George Matt. Well, uh, Kali has Padma Wanda. Um, for Kali's first wish, he wishes for people to share more. And it gets a little, a bit crazy. It's actually when Sticky gives her same shot to the guy with a hockey mask. I don't know what that's supposed to be like a, a horror villain or something, but I just guess it is. And then, Timmy's mom and dad get Crocker their car, and Crocker gives them his mom. And then, then somebody just steals Chloe's house. And, that force didn't do anything else bad with, but then, when a house gets very taken away, she goes a bit angry. Oh yeah, Timmy's spray rock goes a bit crazy as well, but it's firing at pieces and war on him. Yeah. Yeah, well. And just when Tom Wander got fixed wish, uh, she got to see the fire hydrant. I don't think it's nailed down or something on the wall from it just said it's usual. Yeah, no, 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 no. And not said there are a couple of these ones down to the uh, side of the earth where the mole people come up to the world. And I think Carly said that she didn't think it's Again, and then you know what means, and then wanted to show the rest of the clips that was found in Timmy's classroom. It turns out after Chloe, like, uh, saved or healed monster, he decided to destroy the city. Yeah. Turns out she told that good things are tanking, and then that's it, what happened. I uh, like Timmy does, or also sometimes good, good things, good bad things happen, but yeah. I see things nobody wants to be your friend afterwards, but in the school everybody did like her. And then Timmy yeah, says she wants to be a friend, comes with the clip of him saying she'll, she'll never want to be a friend. Don't know when that clip showed up, or when that actually happened, but Whatever, and my colleague was about to fall down the abyss to the center of Timothy's Sager, and then she gave him and he's out to fall. I don't know. And they were like wandering and Carly wants back, and Carly kind of wishes everything be fixed, but then Carly might get accidentally get 
that welcome to the rapid periods. And then I change it back to normal and close changing that you don't want fairies to give both ability and that and I think that is okay you can really share share a comma on the Twitter because if you had an interesting day with her but I just don't know I had this one joke with uh, Jimmy's dad not recognizing uh, Jimmy's mom since Chloe gave her a makeover and then when that Chloe made a wish of that people sharing stuff it turns out she shares her beauty with him and just like a girl again Ugh. How is that funny? I hate that. Don't get it. I and mean, there's also wrong, wrong joke of Carl having on the phone and taking that paper himself on them selfies. I don't like that. It's stupid in the real world and stupid in cartoons as well. It's not stupid. I think it would be better if that thing had to share I call him one of it the two of all people. Because says he seemed to seem to be alright sharing them or actually getting it getting call him one of the for a birthday. I don't know why he wouldn't uh, want to share them with her. And it'd be funnier since he yeah, has a big crush on him. Chloe like, was just awful. I kinda like her when she was going a bit crazy, but she just she seems like too perfect and Sometimes I like, get crazy, just annoying. I just don't know anymore. I'm kind of glad that the like I heard that they had finally cancelled their appearance. Like just wish it wasn't put out on a high note, not with something like this. I don't know if that's like, true. They cancelled the series, but it is. It's about freaking time. So the end of Season eight or nine or whatever. Ugh. Anyway, I'll be stopping to do that then to you for a while. I'll probably do the, the witness uh, episode for December or something. Uh, I'll probably come back for someone next next year with the Japan reviews or something. So yeah, that's it. Good night. And until I'm you, I'll see you guys later.